Let's take a look at Microsoft 365 online version of PowerPoint. So um, you will go into your office portal, click on the nine dots up here if you are in Outlook for example first or your OneDrive and then click on PowerPoint. Once you're here you'll notice that you can create a new one. You can go to your home and look for one that you've already started or it should bring you right up to the new blank presentation. You can also pick one of the themes that are here including your own themes if you've created any. So I'm going to click on new blank presentation and you'll notice that depending on your internet connection this could be a lot slower than working directly off your computer with with the app version. We'll take a look across the top and we'll compare it quickly with the full version of Photoshop. You'll notice we'll have home. A lot of these should look familiar. We have insert. We can insert pictures, shapes, stock images. We can even insert smart art, but you'll notice that um, your um, fancy text is gone. We can use our draw tools. We see our designer that has the slide size. We also have transitions, animations, and slideshow, review, view, and help. So all of these appear the same. They just may be missing a few of the items that you're used to seeing. Um, the other thing is most of your right-clicking options will still work. For example, if I right-click here, and go to background and solid fill. I'll notice that the gradient fill is missing. But I can still fill my background with a picture. Also our cool textures are missing too. But you also have these quick little designer options that give you some ideas that you might like to try on your slide instead of one of the background colors. But again, right click and you can quickly get to background and you can go to solid fill or picture from file. Your insert pretty much has the same things. You can insert a table, you can insert a new slide, you can insert pictures, stock images, this device, um, and search on the web. So those are all the same. Your shapes, are going to be pretty much the same. I'm not sure if the free form, some of the free form ones might be a little bit missing, but otherwise you can draw shapes. And let's take a look at all the things that we can do to those shapes as far as changing our format. We can arrange, here's our outline color. So if I wanted to put a different outline color on here, you'll notice that the weight is on here. And I can even do a sketched freehand um, type of outline on here as well. And I can quickly get to the shape fill and change my shape to different colors too. My arrange, my grouping, my send to front and or send to the back and bring to the front are also there. We can rotate items just like we could before as well. And um, we might notice that some of the fancy things like embossing and changing on our changing our um, drop shadows and things are missing from our menu. We can insert text boxes, footers, comments, shapes, videos, but we can't insert objects. So that's another thing, like if we wanted to insert a PowerPoint chart that we already had created, that wouldn't be an option here. We could copy and paste it, but it wouldn't be dynamic. It would not link to our Excel spreadsheet. So if we changed our Excel, it wouldn't update in PowerPoint. 
So pretty much we can do quite a few of the things, but some of the fancier editing on our drop shadows, embossing, um, glows, those kinds of things on our text and on our objects are not going to be available for us for um, all the fancy things. Remember that you can share directly from here with other people. You can get a link, copy that link, and put it in um, in an email and send it. If you just click share and you type in a person's name, they need a Microsoft account to open that. So you want to make sure that if you share that you pick anybody with the link can view this. Or if you allow editing, they'll have to have an account. Hope that helps you get started with... PowerPoint Online Office 365.